An historic day at Hampton Court Palace in the men's time trial, Bradley Wiggins has become Britain's most decorated Olympian of all time. In winning the host nation its first men's gold medal at these Olympic Games, Wiggins claimed his seventh Olympic Games medal. Unbeaten in a time trial this year, Wiggins, the Tour de France champion, powered through the second sector in the fastest time. Switzerland's Fabian Cancellara started the 49 kilometre course with heavy bruising of the shoulder, having overrun a corner in the men's road race. The four times world champion and winner of the Beijing gold medal finished in seventh position, exhausted from the week's events. The unluckiest man on the road was Spain's Luis Leon Sanchez. One of the pre-race favourites, Sanchez snapped his chain on the start ramp, then required a rear wheel change to his second bike. It meant the end of any chance at a medal. But the day belonged to Bradley Wiggins. He dominated the ride around Hampton Court in front of jubilant fans and posted the fastest time of 50 minutes and 39 seconds. Wiggins' racing teammate Chris Froome gave Britain more reason to cheer. The Tour de France runner-up finishing with the bronze medal. Silver went to Germany's Tony Martin. The current time trial world champion set the quickest first split time, but the 27-year-old wasn't able to maintain the faster speed and collapsed at the finish line in second place. It's been a most extraordinary year for Bradley Wiggins. He clocked a time 42 seconds quicker than Tony Martin and one minute eight ahead of Chris Froome. So Britain's Chris Froome wins the bronze medal. Germany's Tony Martin takes silver. And the men's time trial gold medalist is Bradley Wiggins. His fourth ever gold medal. You ain't gonna get any better than this now, that's it, you know? I mean, to win a home Olympics in your hometown and um, coming off the back of winning the Tour de France, I mean, it's, uh, what a couple of five weeks it's been and I don't that's it now it's never ever going to get any better than that no matter what you do and how special was it to win it in front of a home crowd well yeah I mean that I mean the noise today around around that circuit was just phenomenal and uh, uh, it's just it was just incredible I can't really up, sum it up into some words that will sort of make sense but it was uh, it's a one-off experience you're never ever going to experience something like that ever again so it's a uh, it was amazing, it really was. And you've become the most decorated British Olympian ever. What does that mean to you? Well, <laughs> I don't know really. I mean, it's, um, it's, it's, it's incredible to be you know, mentioned in the same breath as people like Steve Redgrove and Sir Chris Hoy and that. And um, you know, to be up alongside those people is, uh, yeah, it's an absolute honor, you know, it really is. So um, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what, Trying to soak it all. I'm still trying to get used to having won the tour, and then I've gone and won this in London now. So it's uh, it's been a, it's an incredible couple of weeks. Uh, it really mean a lot. I think everybody knows that I was really unlucky this season, and I think today I was really lucky with the silver medal. Uh, Bradley is unbeatable at the moment, so uh, everybody knows that, and uh, I think. Uh, for me, the silver is for the moment like a gold medal and I'm really happy. You had a, a bad accident not so long ago, so how hard have you worked to get here? Oh, I was really working really hard uh, even to come uh, to the Tour de France and then on the first stage I crashed again and break, broke my wrist and I was on the ground again. So, so I had to fight again, I'm really hard to come back to here, but I think uh, yeah, I did my best and uh, I think uh, the, the silver medal is, is, yeah, it's like a gold medal, what I said. <laughs> yeah, a phenomenal day for us. Uh, I, I don't think I'm ever going to experience anything like that again, uh, riding, riding a, an Olympic event in London, or just outside of London, with home crowds like this cheering the way they did. That was, I mean, even after three weeks of racing the Tour de France, uh, today was still breathtaking. Uh, being out there on the course and just hearing just literally thousands of people screaming your name, that was, yeah, I've still got goosebumps actually, it's, it's big. We can hear it in your voice.
how emotional was it when you crossed the line? Uh, um, yeah, I think more relieved than anything. I, I didn't really know where, where I stood when I crossed the line because there was still quite a few guys coming in. I think I was more more relieved when when Fabian came in and they confirmed that I was, I was still in the medals. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't really expecting uh, or knowing what to expect today with so many good time trialists here and, and quite a flat circuit. Um, it's also very different doing a, a, a one-day time trial like this compared to uh, a time trial during a Grand Tour where everyone's tired. I mean, uh, a day like this, everyone, you know, comes in fresh and uh, I wasn't too sure where I stood. So to, so to have bronze and know that Bradley won the gold, that's, that's really something.